Okay. Let's have a look at question seven. So I've got, I need to solve this. x plus four times by x minus six equals three x. So I think the straightforward logical step would be initially to expand that out as a first move. So let's have a go at that. x squared first. Let's do the foil uh, method. You can use a grid method. That's fine if you want to. Minus six x plus 4x minus 24. Careful with the negatives, that's plus 4 times minus 6, so it gives me minus 24, equals 3x. I haven't done anything to the other side. I'm going to collect the like terms, so that gives me x squared. Minus 6x plus 4x gives me minus 2 lots of x. Take away 24, equals 3x just collecting like terms. I'm going to take away 3x from both sides. So that gives me, and the reason why I'm doing that is I want it equal to 0. If I'm going to factorize to solve, which I, you know, or, or even any of the other methods, I need it equal to 0 really. Um, so that's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all of my um, square term of x and my to the power of 1 um, and my just constant term or without an a power of x and I'll put that equal to 0. So that gives me x squared minus 2x take away 3x is minus 5x. Be careful with that. Still take away 24 equals 0. Now I'm going to have a go and see if this is factorizable. So what I need, if it is going to be factorizable, is and this is going to have to be an x here and an x here to generate x squared. Now I need to think of powers, uh, sorry, factors of 24, um, or factors rather of minus 24. They're going to add together to give me minus 5. Um, and straight away, um, something that's coming into my head is 8 and 3, because I can see, you know, 8 times 3 would be 24, but 8 and 3 can add together, subtract, it would give me minus 5. I just need to be thinking about which way round it's going to go. I need more negatives, because I need to get to minus 5, so I need it to be minus 8 and plus 3, because that will give me x squared plus 3x, but then minus 8x takes me to minus 5x, and then minus 24 when I multiply minus 8 and plus 3. So that's the correct factorization. Now the question asks me to solve this. So I need to think what value here would equal 0. So when I times it by x plus 3, I get 0. So x could be equal to 8, um, because that 8 take away 8 would give me 0. Or x could be equal to minus 3 because minus 3 plus 3 would be equal to 0. So those are my two solutions. x equals 8, x equals minus 3.